Hey, what's going on, man? Hola, amigo. Como estas? Guten Tag, wie geht's dir? Welcome to another sub replay. This one we got Anjk of the B Eleventh Clan. Welcome back, Anjk. Glad to see you again. He's in his Object Seven Hundred Four and Hidden Village Standard Battle. So this is a tier ten game. He's a tier nine uh, tank destroyer, Russian tank destroyer. So he's basically mid tier here. Let's see how he does, shall we? So we can see we've got our, our mediums going off of the city, which is to be expected. A couple heavies going over there, 257 heavy and the E75. Both of those are some pretty nice beefy heavy tanks. Uh, a lot of tanks going over to the left, or I guess you could say southwest. T-49 leading the charge. He's going to be in a kind of a bad position because you know there's going to be a lot of heavy tanks, a lot of tank destroyers going over here. And as far as being that T-49, you're going to get shot at. So you're, you're you're sticking yourself right in the middle of all the all the heat, all the fire. Hey, FV four thousand five. That's a brand new tank. Recently added into the game. So interestingly enough, there's n splits. Okay, I guess I guess you can call it it's your typical pubs. Um, stop moving in now. So your typical pub um, split. You got some guys up here in the north. Wow, they got a ton of dudes in the city. Nobody in the center here, which is worrying to say the least. And a lot down here in the south. So Andy's displacing. That's good. You're going to cover the center. Good thinking here, dude. Way to pay attention to your map and react. They're already down two tanks. There's such a heavy force over in that city. This is great for him. If he can get some shots into those dudes. If you can just get a line of sight on somebody. Here we go. There we go. That's a nice 796 damage. Granted, it's only a tier 8 tank. We wish, we wish we'd be doing some damage to some tier 9s and 10s. But, you know, tier, eights, tier 8 tanks can do some damage too. No doubt about it. So you got to take what you can get. Dog Panzer E100. That looks like a nice tank to have. I have unlocked it, but I just don't have the, the money for it yet. Come on, there's got to be somebody over here that we can see. I mean, look at it. All those tanks up there. we got to be able to see somebody. And if you look down to the base, we have an M4... M41 light tank going right after our artillery, knocking him out. That's going to be rough. I don't know how this battle's going to come out. Ooh! Beautiful. Good shot. Thread the needle. Get it through on that E100. Lit him on fire. Taking him out. That's exactly what you need to do. There we go. Now we're starting to swing the stuff in the north a little bit. Big shot there, dude. That was great. I'm surprised that guy, that guy did not have auto extinguisher on that. Being that it's a tier 10. Although that's a time where you really wish you wouldn't have it. Because he was, he was knocked down to like 10% health. From the shot alone so wow that was great that team really reacted very well to picking up that stuff in the north and Andy did a great job to this place over here way to pay attention to your map really good job on that we're getting stopped up in the north now they switched it around now they're winning 7-4 capitalize on it don't let them come back t49 versus the e100 this is gonna be interesting yeah that's that's gonna hurt Nice. Make that E100 hesitate a little bit here. I don't know if you have uh, six cents on your commander, but it's be an excellent time to have it. Yeah, 
Aiming for that lower plate there. I don't know if you're going to get it. Get that side of the turret. There we go. Another engine fire. Another dude lit up. Excellent. Wow. Very good job. They got this one now. I love the smell of burning tank in the morning. I say this is a very good gameplay, not only because one, heads up for Andy to be able to turn around and switch his attention to the north, realizing he wasn't going to do very much over there in the south. Switches his attention to the north, takes out two E100, setting them both on fire. Beautiful. What do you... You got lucky there, Brosif. I don't know why you wouldn't try to go behind him. Behind that guy. But excellent there. And the team reacted very well to picking up those tanks, to helping out in the north as well. That was very good. Very, very good. There goes one artillery piece. Now you just got that Waffenträger auf E100. And he seems to be AFK or something, but that was essentially the end of the replay anyway. Let's go take a look at the stats, shall we? Okay, Mastery Bad second class. Wow. That's surprising. I felt like he did a lot better than the second class here. 32,744 uh, credits earned, 2,000 XP earned. Let's move on to the second. Okay, so led the team with damage, 4,812. Two tanks killed, 1,022 XP. That was very good. The opposing team, they, their highest tank was the artillery piece for 3,826. Man, that is phenomenal. Whenever you're a tier 9 tank in a tier 10 game and you can get um and you can get the most damage, not just by by a little bit, but by 1600, that is that is phenomenal. That's very, very good. You should be really happy with that gameplay. And as I've been picking on you for a little bit, you you didn't have your side exposed at all. Of course, nobody was shooting at you either, but that's neither here nor there. I jest a little bit. But yeah, excellent gameplay. Let's move on to the final slide. Five shots fired. All of them hit. All of them penned. Obviously, he wasn't hit at all. 32,000 credits earned. 4,000 to repair the vehicle. That's from ramming into the Yogg Panzer E100. And 8,250 credits to auto resupply. So it's a little expensive. Over a grand a round. Probably like what, 1500 to 1250, something like that. Uh, totally netted 20,000 credits. Very good, excellent gameplay for all those reasons I mentioned many times throughout this thing. But keeping your head on the swivel, pay attention to your mini map, deciding to go down to the middle and try to help out in the north, and then the team itself picking up and helping together and, and taking out those dudes in the north. This object 704 is a very nice, very nice Russian TD. I really do like it. I like watching the gameplays of this thing. It, it seems like it's a pretty darn boss of a tank. But um, in any event, please like, comment, favorite, subscribe. If you're not a subscriber already for more World of Tanks action as well as other games too. Um, yeah, I think that's everything I wanted to say. Thank you very much for sending that in, dude. I really do appreciate it. Have a great day, guys. Bye.